Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay uh, in, stay tuned with all the latest West Brom news. Obviously, West Brom's hunt for a manager continues up into the international break. Um, we sat down more a few weeks ago now, and we still haven't really managed to get a replacement for him. Uh, Jimmy Shan's... Um, being in charge for the last three, uh, two games, sorry, um, Swansea at home where we managed to win 3-0 and that 1-0 away win at Brentford. And I've got to say, I think Jimmy Shan's been doing a really good job ever since he's came in. Um, I think he's got his tactics spot on, he's got his substitution spot on. And I just think in general that his team selections have been better. However, um, statement today on Sky Sports saying that um, our search for a manager will continue um, into the international break and he will be in charge uh, for the next 10 days, meaning that Jimmy Shan will be in charge against Birmingham City. Obviously, the board have said that they the, like the way um, he's training the team better, whether they're saying that they prefer him to Darren Moore, I don't know. But it all seems really bizarre to me because we just got rid of a manager in Darren Moore who is inexperienced and we're replacing him until the end of the season with someone who is inexperienced. Okay, um, you know, the last two results have been brilliant. Uh, we've won two out of our two games and we've kept clean sheets in both of them. But in such a key part of the season, I thought the club would try and be a bit more ambitious and try and get someone in who can guide us uh, through the playoffs because I think that's how we will have to go up. I can't see us getting top two now. Guys, let me know in the comment section what do you what you think. Do you think this is the cheap option? And I genuinely think I do. Uh, think it is, sorry. I think the club are trying to get to the Premier League as cheap as possible. Which is fair enough, but this is an absolute massive gamble. Rather than get someone in who is experienced at doing that, i.e. Neil from Preston, who's doing a brilliant job with them, has experience uh, with taking teams up with Norwich, and you've got Jukanovic, who's also took Fulham up. And then the statement goes on to say this, Albion are still yet to decide whether there will be any change before the end of the season. Shan has impressed the club's owners with improvements in training, so set pieces and stuff like that on the training ground. I'm guessing that the owners have been watching and have been more impressed with it. Um, team selection, i.e. not playing Dwight Gale on the wing, um, which... I still think he has, to be honest, though. And putting players like Brunton and Morrison, who've actually done quite decently, to be honest. And they're very impressed with his performances in in his last two games, which has led to six points and two clean sheets. Which is fair enough, you know, like, he's, he's come in, he's, he's changed the way the team's playing. We're not playing out from the back anymore. Um, we've won two out of our two last two games and we've got two clean sheets. But is Jimmy Shan the answer? I'm not too sure, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, like I say, if we are going to keep him, then I desperately think we need to bring a coach in. I.e., I've saw a lot of names like Craig Shakespeare, Michael Appleton, and St even Stephen Reid, the former player who used to play for us. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you think, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. I'll keep you updated with um, this manager situation, any news in general. Obviously, it's the international break at the minute, so it's kind of hard to think of video ideas. And But, yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe.